It's not uncommon to see in a piece of music a marking that looks like this, this thing that I'm circling. You'll see like a quarter note, which we just studied, a really little one, equals, and then some number. Uh, and you can see that we got a couple of examples over here. You might also see an Italian word, like you might just see the word presto, or allegro, or andante. And, and those words have meaning in Italian. For instance, presto means you play fast. And allegro means you play, it means joy in Italian. You'd still play it upbeat, but you, but you might change the style that you play it in. So those are great to know. The purpose of this video really though is to make you familiar with the concept that we're looking at here. This is sort of, I think, a more common thing to see and it's a more important thing to understand. You can apply this, what you understand about this sort of information to the words because um, some sort of a tempo is related to those words. Anyway, let's talk about this. A quarter note equals 60. So in Western music, what this is telling you is that a quarter note it, what it's, it's telling you is that you can fit 60 quarter notes in one minute. So this refers to, to the number of beats per minute. So if we can fit 60 quarter notes in a single minute, what that means is that each quarter note lasts exactly one second long, right? Because there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if we were to play 60 of these notes, one, two, three, four, there's four per measure, eight, 16, so 32 would be here. If we were to play um, six, so if we were to play roughly to about here, and this didn't change here, it would take us a minute to get through all of those notes. So I'm gonna actually play the first two measures for you, and I'll give you a count. And so a second is roughly like this fast. Right, something like that. And I'm sort of just guessing, hopefully that's good. And so I would play the measure that uh, you're looking at the first two measures with my left hand in the bass clef, like this. So that's roughly, you know, it, it's maybe it's not perfect. I might have to get a metronome going in to get it exactly 60, but that's close enough for, for, for what I care. Each one is about a second. Now, over here we see that it changes, the number changes to 120. So a quarter note equals 120. And that is telling us that now we could fit 120 quarter notes into a single minute. So that basically means we could fit more quarter notes into a minute at this speed. In fact, we could fit twice as many quarter notes. So before, where we were going dong, dong, for each one of these quarter notes, we are gonna suddenly be playing two over the same period of time. So I'm gonna play the first four measures for you listen to how things change in the third measure. So first two measures again, here we go. Here's the speed. Second measure. So you notice how the speed just basically doubled. I just started playing twice as fast, two quarter notes fit into the same period of time. And that sort of makes sense. It's just like mathematically, hopefully mathematically intuitive. And then over here, I had to just go straight back to the 60s. So you could sort of imagine it would go dong, 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 dong. It would sort of go back to this slower speed. You'll also probably notice these two um, vertical lines that are that happen right here. Those might not be in there. I like when composers use these double bars to let you know that something's worth inspecting at this point. They don't really mean anything other than to just help you out, to be like, hey, pay attention to this part. I like using them because it's like kind of always saying, hey, something's a little bit different here. Maybe this is the bridge section, or maybe you're gonna wanna rehearse this section because it's hard, or maybe there's a uh, time signature change. So a couple of things, those double bars, but really what I hope you get out of this video is an understanding for how fast you're gonna play your songs. That's exactly what this is telling you, how fast the composer wants you to play the song.